What up, people? I am back, and today we have another episode of The Reality. Alright, this one's gonna piss a whole bunch of you fuckers off, but this one's gonna be fun for me. So, this reality is obesity and fat shaming. Alright, so this is what I'm a little ruthless on because this whole love your body, it's pro, pro body image, uh, pro you, all this bullshit. When you're sitting there and telling a five foot five woman who's 350 pounds she should love their body and there's nothing wrong with her, you're basically telling her to kill herself. That's not an exaggeration. Being that obese will kill you. Here's some reasons why, if you do not know. One, doing any sort of physical activity is going to cause your heart rate to spike. Which, guess what? If you don't have a healthy heart, which normally extremely obese people don't, then you're going to have a heart attack. Two, another heart attack topic. Body fat, this is what people don't realize. People think body fat is just like right underneath the skin. That they, they think it's just right underneath here. No, it gets all over your organs. All over them. I'll put a link down below of a picture of a human heart from an obese person that's covered in fat. The heart looks yellow because of the amount of fat around it. And here's the problem with that. You're suffocating your fucking heart. Now, if you don't realize what that's doing, that's gonna restrict blood flow, that's gonna put you in a cardiac arrest, and that's gonna fucking kill you, okay? So I get it. In this society, it, convenience has been made extremely necessary, okay? Why would someone grill some chicken whenever they can just pull a ho-ho out of a fucking package? Why would someone go out and actually cook some fish when they can go down to Chick-fil-A and get 20 McNuggets, which aren't even fucking chicken. It's some, like, pig testicle or something like that. It's the excess shit they don't put in real food in this fake bullshit. And wh why, why would you? At the end of the day, why would you? And everyone always says the same shit. I don't have time. I don't have time. I work a full-time fucking job. I'm in a relationship, and I still find time to trade two to three times a day. Don't fucking tell me you don't have time. Okay? I know a woman who has three fucking kids, a full-time job, cooks and cleans her house, and is still in ridiculously good fucking shape. So I don't want to hear that bullshit. I don't want to hear people sitting there saying, oh, I've tried everything. If you tried Weight Watchers and you tried Jenny Craig, you're not fucking trying. Because here's a little fun fact. For all those little bullshit diets, if your diet allows you to eat cupcakes, it's not a fucking diet! How stupid are you? Oh, well, I, my, a cupcake is just this many points, so that means if I just eat that, then I just take away from this, okay? That is just a really shitty version of macro dieting, and guess what? If you're sitting there subbing a cup, if you eat that cupcake, and you're like, okay, well, this is going to take away from me uh, fucking grilled chicken in a salad, you're literally, you're fucking poisoning yourself. And that's another huge thing that these people don't realize is in this obesity community, community, all these pro body image people, you don't realize you're fucking poisoning yourself. Drinking all this fucking alcohol, eating all this pre-processed, pre-packaged bullshit, you're fucking killing yourself. If you're drinking 25 or a fucking two liter of Dr. Pepper a day, you're eating a whole bag of potato chips a day, and you're fucking sitting there and eating a whole box uh, fucking, I don't know, sweet tarts, then guess what? You might as well just fucking take a gun to your head. And I'm not sitting there telling you to do that. What I'm saying is what you're doing is almost entirely comparable to that. And here's one big reason why you should not, just from a moral standpoint, not be fucking this crazy overweight killing yourself point, is if you have children, what the fuck's gonna happen when you die at 45? How the fuck are your kids going to feel because you decided not to eat healthy? Because you decided the convenience of warming up a hot dog, which do you even fucking know what's in a hot dog? I bet you fucking don't. Of warming up a hot dog and you kill yourself. How's your kid going to feel? And another fun fact is childhood obesity. It should be child abuse if you have a kid that's six and weighs the same weight as me. That's child abuse. Because it's you making your fucking kid eat like that. It's you 
causing your kid, because guess what? They can't go to the grocery store. Their brains are fully developed. They can't decide what to eat. They don't know probably anything about nutrition because you probably didn't teach them anything. So they eat the same way you eat. They drink the same way you drink. So you're sitting there and basically putting them on a death sentence from when they're a toddler because of convenience for you. And I'll admit, the whole industry of shopping and everything like that is completely fucked up. At the end of the day, a box of fucking little Hostess desserts is cheaper than buying some chicken. It is. And the difference is you can just open that package and eat that shit right there. Versus chicken, which you actually have to grill, you have to take time, it doesn't quite taste as good and sweet. Sugar is fucking poison, people. It is the most addictive drug in the fucking world and people don't realize this. To be fair, it should probably be fucking illegal. So, and here's the thing, is people want to talk about fat shaming. I'm never going to sit there and give someone shit and say you need to lose weight because you're not attractive. I'm going to tell you you need to lose weight because you're fucking dying. Because at the end of the day, if you struggle to get up one flight of stairs, you need to lose some fucking weight. And a lot of people, and here's the thing, is everyone has fucking excuses. Everyone has excuses. Oh, I have trouble getting up the stairs because my knees hurt. Your knees hurt because you're 200 pounds overweight, dumb fuck. And uh, I love when they fit shame. I've had people tell me, they're like, oh, no, you're too big, you're gross. I'm like, have you seen yourself when you walk? Have you seen the way your body just jiggles and you look like cottage cheese is stuffed underneath your skin all over your body? Like, don't start talking shit. That's what's crazy to me is someone who's sitting there and just, oh, I'm not too fucking bad. Oh, and just shoving fucking cookies, just cupcakes, and just sitting there and starting talking shit about people who are in shape and saying, oh, that's unrealistic. Fucking diet and go exercise, you stupid fuck. If there's people out there who look like that, it's realistic. Well, how is it not realistic? Like I already said, I'm in a relationship. I have a full-time job and I work out and I eat healthy. So that's the way I look the way I do. There's nothing unfucking realistic about me. Uh, you literally look at me right now. Do I not exist? Like that's the most stupid bullshit excuse I've ever heard in my entire life. Everyone's just looking for excuses. Everyone just wants convenience. Everyone just doesn't want to fucking put any work. We live in a society of lazy fucks who sit there and just don't give a shit about anything. They don't think about anything long term. You're sitting there and saying, oh, he's a kid. He, he can drink three or four sodas a day. It's like what you're doing is you are fueling an addiction. It's like giving a needle to a fucking heroin addict. And you don't realize this because it's sold everywhere. You know why it's sold everywhere? Because it's a multi-billion dollar industry. So here's just some thoughts. Think about your future. All right, I know people are gonna go ham with me, people tell me I'm fat shaming and all this shit, but what I am is I am health shaming you, I guess, is what you can say. Because you need to think long term. You need to think about how long you wanna live. You need to think about how long you wanna be in your kids' lives. Do you wanna be dead at 50? Do you wanna miss seeing your kids graduate from college? Do you wanna miss seeing them get married? Then go ahead, eat all that bullshit. Go kill yourself. That's you, that's you. No one's to blame but you. No one's to blame for your obesity, but you. I'm so sick of this bullshit saying, oh, well, it's genetic, it's in our family. It's in your family because your parents raised you that way. And instead of finding a reason or actually learning about nutrition after you get out of your family's house, you don't. You just keep doing what they do. You don't see what you've done is wrong because to you that is what is normal. Break the normality. Learn about health. Learn about how to keep yourself alive and living longer and living great and living healthy. You shouldn't hit 40 and then you're having heart complications all the fucking time. You're sitting there and just living in a horrible state of life. At the end of the day, it's your choice. I can't do anything about it. But you need to think about your future. You need to think about the people who are around you. If you don't give a shit about yourself and you want to eat like shit and kill yourself in 10 years, that's fine. But think about the people around you. Think about who it's going to affect in your life, your kids your parents, your family, your friends. But people don't think about that. What they think about is they think about convenience and they think about taste and flavor. Oh, and fun fact, you can make healthy food taste good. You have to learn, you have to put in an effort, you have to fucking try. So that is this episode of The Reality. Go ahead and slam me, fat people, in the comments down below. I don't give a shit. But if you like this video and think you have a good point, go ahead and like it. If you have any points to add on top of mine, if you have a counter-argument for me, which 
kind of can't have a counter argument for me because what I just told you is fact. You shouldn't be overweight. It's horrible for your health. So go ahead and comment down below though if you feel like it because I'll go ahead and go ham on you as well. And subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys next time.